So, what is virtual reality? Let's talk about this space. So, so virtual reality is a technology that fully immerses you into a different world. So, for example, if I want to be on the streets of Las Vegas right now, I could be. So, I could be sitting here, put this, and I'm on the streets of Las Vegas. Uh, I could be on these things and say, I want to fly low-flying aircraft across the Mara to watch the wildebeest migrate, which I'm going to be doing next week. But you could do that. So that what that does, it breaks the barriers for you. You could be sitting here, Jamana Semaneishiwapi, you check out, you wear that thing, and it lands you where you need to be. So it's a fully immersive technology that allows you to be present in a different world. To give a context, Aizo, please bring the 360 camera. I want you to make you understand in real time what this then would mean and what this looks like. Right now, what I could have done is charged people to come for this event from an online experience. Now, what you think about is live streaming. I'm not talking about live streaming. If I put a seat here, I'll give an example. If I put a chair here, and I put this thing here, and that person takes this VR headset. For example, if I do that, let's just imagine there's a seat there. If I do that, and somebody takes a VR headset and put it on, they are seated here with us. If they do this, they look, they see Alex. If they look there, they see you. If they look to the back, they see that. With this small gadget right here. I went on top of KICC, and I stood like this with this gadget while Giuliani did a concert. And I recorded it, and I put it onto a platform called YouTube, which allows content already to be put in 360. If you put on this gadget or a VR headset, whatever they may be, you are there. Now think about what that does for church. Think about what that does for meetings. Think about what that does for travel. Think about what that does for school. Think about what that does for whatever industry that you may be in. So an interesting thing, who's ever wanted to go to Harvard? Otaki? <laughs> Otaki? Yeah. Uh, who's ever wanted to have an experience, uh, you know, just in the States, Los Angeles? Okay. We got to get you lifting up your hand. <laughs> uh, you know, the, for the guys in education, uh, who's ever wanted to learn how to perform surgery, uh, prayer surgeries? From, you know, oh, who's ever wanted to learn how to code with using AI? Yeah, many people. So all these experiences, you can actually have fully immersive experiences using VR technology. It takes you right there. So let's say it's surgery of the eye that's very rare. You, you see all these doctors coming in from the West, coming in to do cornea, uh, glaucoma. So you could be in, in the hospital in, again, I use Embu as a reference point. And the doctor is actually wearing one of this. This is mixed reality. You can still be able to see the patient. But at the same time, you're getting instructions from someone else. In the school curriculum, you can do the same thing. So there's so much power in this as a product, uh, as one of the many products, but it, it places you at a point in time where it's fully immersive. So Ukiangaliaivi, oh no, no, people in John Hopkins. If you look at this other side, you see John Hopkins. Ukiangaliambele, you see Dr. Mugambi in Embo Hospital. I would say there was a migration from content from analog to digital. Remember, so we used to have V, the good thing about being a D, there's a point where we used to have VHS, cassette tapes. Then those cassette tapes had to be turned to MP4s or MP3s. That means analog to digital. Fine? To Kupamoja. So now you could get, you no longer, who here has a CD? Who even has a CD player in their car? Those things are useless because of Bluetooth, isn't it? And because of MP3s. Now there's a new migration. And that migration is to something called VR. So content is now become because VR is more immersive. Uh, so I think it's good for people to actually try it today. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, we definitely came with it. And we came with both yeah. versions. 
because I want you to see the speed of the evolution. Yes. Talk and, about that. And to see uh, to, to uh, Richie's point, uh, there might be barriers of entry for this technology now because of how expensive it is. But in the future, what we're showing you is capabilities to open up your mind a little bit more. Uh, these capabilities are going to be available in the next two, three years uh, on a smaller version, maybe something like this, that you can still be able to have that immersive feel that you need to be able to actually be in VR or mixed reality uh, technology side of things. But I'll give you guys an example. When COVID happened, I have a global team. So we would get on a Zoom call and it was one dimensional. We just saw the person from the front. When we started leveraging uh, the VR headsets, it was game changer. So we would say location Hawaii. And then all of a sudden we'd all land in Hawaii. The person next to me if they turned around and said something, I would hear them to my right. That time, though, in London. The person in Kuwait was right next to me on this other side or the other side of a table, and they could move around. We had a whiteboard where we could write things. That's a concept of metaverse. Fully immersive experience. Yes, for those who've used it in the past, it was a little cartoony, but it's changing. You know, where you see a realistic person uh, and you're able to actually see the capability, the facial expressions and all of that. So what's changing is now you guys could be here and you could be impacting the world based on the capabilities and things that you can provide in terms of impact. Mm. To the business people, what does this then look like for you? If, if, I am, if you are knowing this is where the world is going, what does this look like for me from an education perspective? What does this look, from the content creators, what does this look like for you from a content perspective? One of the conversations I'm having with Alex is, I'm already creating this content. I've already done it. Go to YouTube, here's 360. I went and I shot the whole expressway. If you've never been to Kenya and you've never been to the expressway, you can actually shoot the expressway. And on YouTube, you can move with your, on, on this, you can move still, and you'll see it to D. So I'm already thinking, how do I position myself to be the content creator in this space? to be the one to showcase Africa to the world. And Meta has opportunities for content creators who are creating that content to already be there. From a, from a law perspective, what does it look like from IP, IP rights? Already beginning to tell people, uh, Liz Linger, for example, and June Gashui, they're IP lawyers. But how do you now position yourself and say, listen, we also offer uh, rights for VR and, and this space. So from whatever industry it is that you are in, what does this look like? If you're in land selling, you no longer need to do a site visit. Why are you doing a site visit? <laughs> okay, not land selling in Kenya. But imagine, like for real, why do people need to go? If you're doing school tours, why do people need to come to your school and really walk? You can be like, listen, first and foremost, here, sit down and have a conversation with our headmistress and put this on. Look at how all our different campuses are. Look at how a class actually looks like without you having to infringe and go into the class. You're putting on and you're actually seeing. Because look, this gadget can be here and you've already all forgotten it's here. You get? So you are natural. So just begin to jog your mind and think, okay, so VR is not an option. It is coming. So what does that look like for me? How can I position myself? How can I be the pioneer, the leading the person in that? Does it require more work? Yes. But, as he said, fast to market. Yes. Uh, to answer your other question is that how quickly is this moving? It used to take a lot longer than, you know, it would take, you know, iteration of about three to five years for that to change. But now with AI, it can change a lot faster. So, by this time next year, probably this gadget is going to be a lot smaller and a lot cheaper for all of us. So, that's the game changer. Again, underneath everything that we're talking about, we're talking about AI changing the world. And that's why the faster we adopt it for just our day-to-day -day activities, the more we know the capabilities and how quickly we can be able to leverage it. Okay. I want us to take a break in the next uh, five minutes. We'll come back and do another session on, on the mind. But before that, then... Um, remember, Zuckerberg thinks in billions. The thing that I love about him from my observation and from attending F5. F5 is, what's F5? Just tell them. You, you tell them. F5 tell them. is their, their, company, their company AGM, in a sense, where they talk about the new tech. Yes, we call it Connect. So we unveil new technologies that are coming out in the industry at that point in time. I attended it from my room. 
with this gadget. So I was part of there. I just didn't know Alex. Now I'll shout, hi, Alex, when I'm there. Do you get what I mean? Granted, some things are locked to Africa, and I know as time progresses, they'll open them up. And there's also, I like, I had somebody say VPN. There's ways around everything, and we will use them. Yes. Um, But I want you to understand, the leader of this company thinks in billions, and he has a track record. He's done it with Instagram. He's done it with WhatsApp. He's done it with Facebook. Why would he be putting so much energy and time into these things and thinking in hundreds of thousands? I don't think that's how he thinks. What's, what's, no, we're going to come back and even hear about the billionaire mindsets. That's now where we're going to come back. But lastly, just to close this session about tech. If you've got your questions, keep them, keep them written. I want to ask, let's talk then about the Ray-Bans. Remember, this again is not me trying to sell you the products. What I'm trying to do for you is make you understand because we've got the pioneers of the industry in this. Cool? So get the thinking and the understanding because other people are going to be doing this. Tell us about this. What is this in terms of, a techni- of, terms of tech? Uh, so this is a couple of two products. This is a smart glasses and this is the Quest 3, which is mixed reality. So you can actually be able to see who's in the room and you can actually be able to actually the, have the virtual reality experience. And this is a lot more. You can use it as for music. He was playing headphones. He was playing Spotify on it. Uh, you can make calls. You can be able to kind of like record uh, short videos. You can be able to take pictures. So this is part of the products uh, that you can be able to leverage to actually make your life a little bit easier. I love it. Whatever questions that you guys may have um, in the second session, after we, after we um, have a conversation about the technician, then now we'll go straight into the question and answer. Is that cool? Yeah. Just, uh, so just get them ready. Alex, is there anything that parting shot that you want to have about this? Just tech? to wrap up this session. If you're not using AI, the person next to you is using AI and they have a lot more impact at this moment in time. So if there's one thing that you learn from that, leverage AI to the best of your ability at this moment in time. In anything that you do in your personal life, in your professional life anything underlying that. And just know there's a, there's a lot that's changing. A lot of people say, that, I'm not going to do this, you know, because it's not going to stick or it's going to take another five years. Kenya, Things will slow down. But I'm telling you, things are changing really, really fast. Big thank you to Alex. A round of applause for Alex Gashesha. <laughs> Keep your questions. Let's have a break. You can go have some refreshments when we come back. Second session.